January 15th. <laughs> we're waiting. I don't know. Chelsea said we're going to wait or we can start. Yeah, yeah, you guys can go. Okay, cool. And then I'll track down the food. Do you guys want anything other than water? No, I'm good with water. I need some water. Water. That's fine. I wanted to ask you guys, what is it like when you're both preparing for a fight at the same time? Right? You obviously mean you're going to fight in January. <laughs> What's that like? Having both of you in that It's awesome, you know, have a partner yeah. to do everything together. It's like being amazing. Since I met Nina, everything changed in my life. Sure. You know, we being partner since and that. We do everything together and I become a champion, she will be a champion soon. Sure. Like obviously like it always helps to have a supportive partner, but I guess when someone really understands what you do because they do it themselves, it's even more so, right? Yes, sure. When I'm, I'm like stressed out, she understands it. You know, when I caught away, she understands. She cook for me. Yeah, really? She like make everything easy for me. Just the right, the right answer. What, what, what's, what's the specialty? What's the cooking specialty? What's the favorite dish? Um, favorite dish is definitely like beans and rice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, and now it's like a new one. It's a, uh, what's it called? Beiju? Beiju. It's so. like a Brazilian, like a tapioca kind of okay. like wrap thing. Yeah. So I had to learn that one. Okay. Googled a couple of trial and errors and we got that one now, so. Have you taught her like fish water or anything like that? Yeah, or? she, she, she know. Really? Yeah, a lot of Brazilian food. Yeah. <laughs> she do that again. I don't think I had a choice. I had to learn. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, did you get a little upset though when Amanda <laughs> bought you a sewing machine? <laughs> Look, it's been a sewing machine, it's been pots and pans, it's been a vacuum, Back -up. but they're all really nice ones, so I can't really complain, yeah. you know? It makes my life easier. So. But this time you, I did a little bad. Yeah, she did better. She got me like a nice purse. Oh, yeah. you did a good job. Louis Vuitton is basically. Yeah, see? It was a, ki a, a mixer, like a KitchenAid mixer. Oh, those are good. And then, and then the purse, and I was like, alright, <laughs> you redeemed yourself. They said you were a little bit under the weather earlier this week. Are you feeling better now? Yeah, I feel better. Always when I travel, I got like uh, sinusitis infection. Mm -hmm. And but seeing uh, see I got in the hotel, I take my medicine, everything. It's fine. Okay. You're in Vegas now. You guys are already. Yeah, yeah we're already. Why do you want to get there early? Because of that. Happened. Yeah. Oh really? Because okay. I can't travel. Every time you fly. Yeah. 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 Wow. We're at sea level in Florida, so yeah. whenever she like goes to a higher altitude, the, the pressure in her neck because she has like allergies and sinus. Mm -hmm. So that day or the first day or two, she needs a couple days to recover. So to get back on another airplane would just she wasn't feeling well. It's it pretty bad. I can't. I really can't fly again. So have you, have you been doing that? You've been getting to like the cities earlier, yeah, just in case. Just in case. Yeah. yeah. Is that also <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right there. What it seems to help. It, helps yeah. help. <laughs> it works. What has been the biggest difference training for Ronda as opposed to training for Nisha? Uh, because Ronda had a uh, specific training, you know. She's a, a judo and it's completely different than Nisha. Nisha wrestling and it's completely different training. You know, you have to uh, know how to block the hips, block, uh, block the combination she does, and but everything is very, very good. You also have some serious experience in judo and brown belt as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm no brown belt, but uh, I'm black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and I train in judo at the same time. But uh, I'm not graduating in judo. I don't know. She never belt. went for like the belting. Yeah, 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 I never she went did to it the whole time. And never because I always compete in Jiu Jitsu and I, I never went to, to change the belt in judo, but I train at the same time. Mm -hmm. People definitely think that's her advantage over you, though, that once she, if she's able to get her hands on you, uh, that it could go the way of so many of her other victories. So what do you have to say about that? Yeah, you know, like, I think I'm going to be ready. I've been training. I know how to, everything about judo, you know, the blocks. I know uh, how she set up to, to get in close and then try to uh, take me down everything, use the, the, uh, the judo throws. And I've been working on it, you 
know, I'm confident. I know everything and it's going to be everything fine. Certainly people believe you have an advantage in striking, in boxing especially. Um, when you watched her fight with Holly, did you just basically see a blueprint for how to beat her again? For sure, I have a, uh, a big hole there. You know, we know that she's a, a rapper, she's a judo girl. And she, she thinks she can strike, but I think after this fight against her Holly, she back in her, you know, her place, I think she, she knows she can, she can handle. Mm -hmm. And I think she's gonna be more intelligent and then use a, li uh, a little bit strike to try to grab me. Mm -hmm. I think this uh, she's gonna do. Certainly it's the most important fight of your career, but do you think it's actually the most difficult one as, as well or, or not? Honestly, no, it's pretty even. You know, pretty, uh, my last fight for this fight is pretty even. Mm -hmm. And I think it, I think it's not it's not anything like different. Mm -hmm. I think you know I've been training, been ready. You know, in the past, a lot of times Rhonda had a great advantage because of the mental game, and she could psych people out. Um, do you think she still has that ability? I mean, you guys stared each other down at 205. Did you feel that same Rhonda that was so intimidating to other women? Yeah, I never seen Rhonda before. No, I never. Oh, that was the first time you yeah, were ever first time. And it's pretty normal for me, you know. I, I honestly, uh, eyes, face, me face, anything like uh, means anything to me, you know. And I, like, I really, I'm really confident, and I'm, I know what I, I capable, capable, yep, yep, capable, capable, and and I, I will do it, you know. Anything's gonna change it. So what were you thinking though? I had no idea you guys had never even met. So you, you're you there and you see her come come out. Like what was going through your head? The place was packed with people. Just kind of what were you thinking? Yeah, after 200, like, yeah. it's nothing, it's nothing like <laughs> better. It was huge that, that show, 200, and for that night was normal for me. Yeah. You know, see Rona Rouses, finally it's gonna happen. She really is gonna come back. And I'm excited, that night was like, for real, she's gonna come back. And what do you think when you see the promos? Um, I had a conversation with a friend who, after Ronda lost, so many people thought she wasn't good anymore. The promos come out and everybody says, oh, she's gonna beat Amanda because they're selling it well. Yeah. Um, I mean, how do you feel when you see those promos and you're really kind of not in them? Honestly, I'm okay with, you know, I think the only thing that I look for in this, in this, uh, in this, uh, sorry, uh, uh, the only thing I look for in my career is, is this thing right here. The belt, have the belt, be the champion, and whatever they want to do with the Ronda, let it, they do, you know, she promotes good, it's like, it's gonna sell a lot of pay-per-view, <laughs> this is the thing that I look for, and yeah, it helps you, right? it helps me, <laughs> it, it, at the same time, and at the end of the day, I'm the champion, and I will walk in the cage, I'm gonna take this fight, and be the champion for a Do you know what I think it's a little disrespectful? I know Joe Rogan on the telecast last week said he thought it was disappointing that you weren't featured equally with Ronda. Do you feel a little bit disrespected by it or, or not? I think you have to see like Ronda La, you know, <laughs> that <laughs> watch over there. What are you gonna do, you know? Yeah. It wasn't a surprise. Yeah, yeah it's no, no surprise. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I really like, I like that. Yeah. You know, I like it. Finally, she's gonna come back, you know? and. I don't care. Honestly, like, I'm. I know. I know what I. What I'm gonna do. The, the thing that I want. That's it. I think. I. I, I have nuts to do. <laughs> how, how, how has your life changed since the summer? Since uh, since you got the title. Well, I've been doing a lot of interviews. Mm -hmm. More than normal. I have this bag at home. I wake up every day. See. Is, that's <laughs> where, it. where do you keep it? Where do you have yeah. it? Huh? Where do you have it at home? Now I have my room. You do? Yeah. But uh, since I got, oh, it's like next to the TV. Really? I look every time I watch the, the TV. But now in my room. And, and what about sort of attention from Brazil? Has that been sort of significantly more? It's obvious that the Brazilian people were very, very proud when you won the title. Yeah, I think they they are proud, but because I left Brazil early in my career, a lot of people don't know me yet. Very well. If I stay in Brazil, I might not here with you guys today, you know. And I'm so glad that I did it. I mean, uh, I moved to USA it was the best thing that I did in my career. I'm gonna be honest. And I know Brazil is, is the big, 
MMA fans, but if I stay there, I really like it. I'm stop it. And they are, I think they are proud, proud but uh, I feel like this still have to show more, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. Because I'm the only champion. I know now I have Jose Aldo, but I'm the, the real <coughs> champion, you know? And they, they don't do that much. The UFC has you running around LA today doing a lot of media. Uh, Wanda's not doing a whole lot of media before this. Does that, does that bother you? Does that upset you that you're kind of doing all the, all the legwork? No, I think UFC been doing it for her. You know, I think UFC been doing all the, the promo work for her. She do whatever she want. <laughs> this is this this is a part of, this is a part of my my job. Sure. You know, meet with you guys and talk. I mean, really. You said that it helps you and the pay per view does well. Does that mean you get a share of the pay per view? You're in your contract. It's uh, it's in the the numbers. You get you get part of the pay per view. Uh, I can say that. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You get, sure you get a percentage of the re the revenue from the pay per view. Yeah. 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 I hope so. In the yeah. Okay. So it does help you financially. Yes, for sure. Okay. So you're gonna make a lot of money for this fight. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I have to help my family. Do you get a sense? I, I don't know how much attention you pay to what she's doing, but do you get a sense that maybe there's a little mental weakness there compared to how she was when she was still undefeated and everyone was saying that she was unbeatable? Do you think maybe there's a little mental weakness there now? <laughs> I think if you don't know how to take a loss, for sure, like you're gonna, you know, play with you with your head a little bit. But I, I really don't know what is going on with the Bronda right now, you know, with the whole thing. Yeah, I really don't know. But uh, for sure, if you don't know how to take a loss, you get a little bit lost. You, you seem very confident. Um, I mean. Do you, do you sense that? Is that how you are all the time when you kind of if you head to this fight you have that confidence? Yes, I am because I, I train very hard, you know, I train smart and uh, I know I'm a better fighter, mm -hmm. you know, and only keep it, keep everything uh, calm and let the fight, you know, go on and then it's gonna happen. I know I'm gonna be ready for everything and we'll see. I know you're doing sorry, Drew, but I, I know you're doing like some media interviews and stuff like that. But you, you're, you're a fighter, right? You, you don't have lots of other distractions. You're not filming movies. You're not doing all this other kind of stuff. Does that help you? The fact that you have this complete focus on your job, which is fighting. I yeah, I, I really don't know, but I kind of like focusing on the thing that I that I am good at. You know, I'm fighting. I want to be a fighter for a long, long time, keep the belt for a long, long time. And yeah, I think, I think it is. I think I keep focusing my job as a fighter and everything is coming together. After the way you beat Misha, what did you want to work on to become a better fighter? I mean, you beat her so convincingly, you were on such a roll. What, what, what can you still improve on? Uh, keep learning more, you know, more new movements, more uh, different strike techniques and jiu-jitsu. Jiu-jitsu, I'm black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu, but I uh, always learn things. Because jiu-jitsu is amazing. It's an amazing, uh, amazing challenge. Uh, the yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a challenge all the time. When you uh, work roll with somebody, it's completely different, you know, and, and you always learn. And I always like move forward to learning new things. When Ronda stormed off the stage that day, um, after you guys faced off, what were you thinking in your head? Like, why did she storm off? You know, she didn't even talk to Joe Rogan. You spoke, she didn't. What, was your, what were you thinking? I don't know, it's weird, right? But, uh, <laughs> Pretty weird. <laughs> I really, I don't know what is going on with that girl. Mm. I really don't know. <laughs> I saw you even look at one point. You're like, where'd she go? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get one like, more. <laughs> <laughs> well, didn't they say Dana said after what you weren't supposed to do it? Yeah. Like, yeah. I, you know, one time I look like too hard to get in my belt, but if my belt don't come, I raise my belt. <laughs> <laughs> and because it's normal, yeah. you face off, you get your belt. This supposed to supposed to happen that night. Right. I miss my belt a lot that night. Mm -hmm. I'm the champ. I wanted my belt, and everything was so weird. Even the back, like, what is, yeah, confused what side right, he's supposed right. to be on and everything. It was like weird back, yeah. It was, 
Well, she's, she's going to be walking out before you. She's not used to that, I'm sure. Just everything in her routine is she's used to the other right. way, right? So I think even part of the staff was confused because in the back, like one one staff member is like, "I think you guys are on the wrong side," and I'm like. Hold on, stay here, let me go check. And then I went to go in the back, and then Rhonda walks by me, like, right. And then I was like, Are we on the right side? I'm like, Yeah, you're on the right side. I'm like, All right. And I'm like, No, yeah. we're on the right side. And then I feel like you want to see, want to make it easy for her to take these, like, no, she don't feel like she's not a chump anymore. She's, they want to make her feel like she's dead, you know? She's not the second thing. She, they want to make me, like, kind of the second thing. To make her like get strong or something, mm -hmm. I don't know. But I feel like this whole promotion, they try, they try to like promote her. She can see, she can be strong. You see that, like Ronda, 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 Ronda. But she know she's the challenge. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm the champion. This is, nobody can change it. Mm -hmm. You know, nobody can like make Ronda like the champion. She's not the champion anymore. You know, and I think this day the whole thing about to you know make it so like shocking for her when she come back. Because she's already like uh, a little bit weird with everything. Because she's the challenge. Mm -hmm. She never, she never win that. And now she's like back as a challenge, walking mm -hmm. horse, everything like that. And then they want to make this more soft. Like, but she of, might be more, more of a challenge now because she's <laughs> angry that she's not the champion. She could be better than ever. Yeah, I expected that. Yeah. You know. They try and train about it harder for this fight. I train like a lion for this fight. <laughs> it's interesting, maybe they think she needs that, you know, that she mentally she needs yeah, that kind of. They see that. Yeah. UFC see that. They try, they do that, you know? Because she needs like a push, mm -hmm. you know, she can come back. But with me, nothing's gonna change. Sure. I'm really gonna do the, the thing that I train for. And i be ready for this moment, like, be ready for it. And, Videos, talking, nothing's gonna change the thing I'm gonna do that night. Do you honest. think the USC wants her to win? Do you think they want her to win? And the way looking, it, it is not <laughs> the way looking, the way look. Yes, but nothing's gonna change me. I will be, I will be a champion. The USC is gonna promote myself after this fight. I think they wanted me to win too. But yeah, it just didn't happen. Keep ruining their plans. Yeah, I will keep it doing. I'm <laughs> not a lot of people are gonna. Be watching this fight, yeah, a lot of people that don't even watch MMA, uh, it's gonna be like all the eyes are gonna be on you. Um, a lot of people are gonna see you for the first time. Is there something? Is this something that you think about when you're training? Is this like a, a special fight for you, or, or do you? I kind of when I train, I focus, you know, be better, you know, and I, the only thing that I think, you know, is be better, be ready, you know, and be in the best shape ever. And then wait for the moment. What will Christmas Day be like for you guys? Obviously, you're, you're a few days away from a fight. It's a special day, but you're probably not going to be quite the same as. Uh, um, we don't even know what day. It was the 22nd. 22nd. Yeah, we don't, we don't know. We didn't. We don't really. We were going to maybe buy a tree and put it in the room, but we're both training. I have a fight. She's got a fight. It doesn't matter. It's gonna, another day for us. To be honest with you. Of course, we miss uh, our family. Yeah. But this is our job. After after uh, December 30, it's gonna be good for everybody, for me, for my family. They yeah. try like everything so smoothy, and we like to be with each other, you know. Mm -hmm. Since I met Nina, we never like spending one minute apart, mm -hmm. and this is very good. And my sister's gonna be there too. And my family the, comes next my, day. Nina's so family, really? yeah. So and a couple friends of mine. We we'll celebrate oh, after. We like, can oh, be together and then keep the energy, focus for this fight. No, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Ronda blocked you on Instagram. I heard uh, <laughs> TMZ had that uh, today. What was Are that? You, Ronda, I guess you said she blocked. Unfollowed. She unfollowed. Oh, really? <laughs> on Instagram, yeah. Unfollowed. She unfollowed me. That's the ultimate. Oh. Forget about getting in a fight yeah. if you unfollow somebody. <laughs> yeah. Does that bother you? Does that upset you? No, oh. I think it's funny. It's funny because she was sitting next to me. She goes, like, starts laughing and looks at me. I'm like, oh, she's like, Ronda unfollowed me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She'd be following me uh, for forever. Now she's not following me. I understand. Funny. Yeah. She doesn't like to see the belt. Yeah, <laughs> she does. You know, after you won the fight, um, 
there was, uh, people made a lot of it about um, you were the first openly gay champion the UFC has ever had, and I know you were um, honored and celebrated by certain organizations. How important has that been for you to be able to be a role model for other people? You know, I've always people that oh, they look, up, look, to, look up to us, mm -hmm. and it's important to we show like we are happy, you know, we love each, each other. And it's important to people see that, you know, to start to respect, you know, and love is love. You know, when people realize it's love is, how love is powerful, they, this world is going to be a better place. It actually taught us something as well, because yeah. we never thought of it as something that needed to be recognized, other than we just post pictures together because we're together. Right. But when we started both getting emails from people that were like having difficulty, like struggling with their sexuality and stuff, it made us realize that maybe we need to be a little bit stronger about this to help these people. We're strong enough with our situation because both our families accept us. It's never been an issue. But there are people that are struggling with it. And if this is what we need to do to help them, then we'll help them. It's great. I mean, because I've talked to Rocky about this too, and she and Tisha, and everybody's just doing their thing, which is great. Um, and it's still surprising to me that it bothers some people. Yeah. So I, I do wonder, though, you know, with our fan base, um, did you feel like it was something you had to say, or just that, well, eventually they'll figure it out, so we need to get in front of it? I don't think Do we ever know? said it. Yeah. We never said it. They said it, and we, we just didn't deny it, is what happened. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, we can't deny it. Obviously, everyone knows we're together, right. but it was not right. something they were saying, everyone, we need to tell you something. Yeah. That never happened. In and that, you know? yeah. There was no press in that, release or anything. No, right? it never right. was. And that night of FC 200, I was so happy. Sure. You know, and then I kissed Nina, and then yeah, like, and that was it. I kiss you, now, <laughs> now, <You're ready>. <laughs> But that was, I guess, really the moment when it became the public public. Because yeah. yeah. like, you guys never had it as a secret, but it yeah. was, that was the night was, when yeah. everyone became aware of it. It was the night that we had to address it when it was spoken about. Like, right. Yes, everyone saw that, you know? Right. Like, yeah. We don't post pictures kissing. We've never posted a picture kissing right. each other, but we did it on TV now. I guess we have to speak. <laughs> There's a great set of responsibility uh, to be role models in a sense. When you said you got emails from people, and people look up to you guys, and like you said, people are struggling with it. It's, it's an accountability thing, I believe. You know, like I'm not, I, I'm not a representative of the LGBT community. I wouldn't say that either one of us are like well educated on it to be honest with you like we never thought of it more than we just like each other but it helped us realize that maybe we need to be if it changes someone or helps somebody I'm all for it we're both for it we'll do it you're kind of forced into that yeah. position of being a role model exactly. whether or not you want it and but it's better for us it's better for us to realize that oh wow this helps someone just as it helps we get emails that are young girls that want to be MMA fighters mm -hmm. and then we get emails of young girls that are struggling with their sexuality we treat them the same yeah. you know like if we can help either one of you, we're going to. Also, because you guys are in the public eye, you yes. know, it's, it's right. easier, I guess, for someone yeah. to just do, go about their lives and do their mm -hmm. thing when they're not being watched and there's not this little belt hanging around yeah. those cameras. Does that make it more difficult, or do you kind of embrace them? We embrace it. Yeah. yeah. You know, it, it's never something that... We both have very strong personalities, you know. We, we know our decisions have been public. And we're okay with that, you know. We we had the discussion in the beginning, like the first picture we posted together before we were in, like we weren't even in the UFC. We were both just, you know, we fought in it. She fought Invicta. I was just fighting in Invicta. It wasn't like a big thing yet. And then it was like, should we post this picture? And it used to be a conversation, like, I, and then now it's just like we can post whatever we want, right. you know. Yeah. But there's also I always felt like. It was an assumption that a lot of women fighters were gay. Yeah. I, I, you know what I mean? I guess I felt like it was less of a surprise to people. You know, like, I've never had to ever sit down with my family and discuss yeah. me and Amanda's relationship. Right, right. Friendship, relationship, whatever it was. From the first day that I brought her to my house to meet my father, I and was... Yes, yeah, <laughs> not literally. Yeah, that did happen. <laughs> she I brought my in. bicycle. She I got, have a bicycle yeah. that I ride to not buy my bread. I lived in the gym before. <laughs> but That's hilarious. That was the, like my like dad is Amanda. Now it's it. like her father tell me like, oh, if you want to stay here, you can yeah. move here. Cause like she lives in the stay. gym. I want her to. I don't want her to <laughs> stay in there. You I know, she's gonna move stay in there. <laughs> Okay, I, I know the joke and I get it, but it, before it was that, she was my training partner. Before she and my girlfriend was like, oh, I know what it's like to struggle in the sport and not have money and live in the gym. I have a house.
house. I was born and raised in Florida. But I had a bed in Deja. She though, but I... Yeah, her intentions were always that. Uh, my <laughs> <laughs> poor Brazilian girl that doesn't speak English. And then That's four good. years later, it's here. That's How long have you guys been like dating? Like, four years. Like, four years. Wow. Is yeah. there any plans for like marriage or anything like that? Maybe. Or, yeah, yeah. There's there's everything yeah. in the future, but yeah, for sure. you know, there's no rush. We know where our life's going. We don't need to like do it. No now. rush. You every day ask you. She's no rush. She every day like. When is it gonna happen? <laughs> we, 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 get this funny, we get this question at least once a week, sure. and I'm like, well, I'm not asking, so it's right, definitely right. on her. The other day she asked me, like, do you think I keep a fight or have a baby right away? <laughs> but like, yes, yeah, you're gonna have a fight coming up. You're gonna fight. <laughs> <laughs> but it was both ways, you know? Yeah, it's like, like, we both want kids, we both yeah. want a family, and it's like, all right, we both fight, so it's like, right. I can't fight and have a baby at the same time. I can yeah. always come back. Would you guys adopt or? I would have a kid. I would carry too, and then yeah. eventually adopt too. You know, yeah. we're not. Honestly, I can't wait. Yeah. yeah. Can't wait. yeah. So I have to bring my kids to Disney World. To see yeah. how... <laughs> Sometimes you go and they look at the kids around in Disney World. It's amazing. It's an amazing feeling. That's my daughter back there. But yeah. Yeah. She had to come to the vacation. Yeah, Chelsea. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to. Do you guys have any negativity at all? Oh yeah. There has been some some haters. You get some yeah. comments, but it's but we don't have to say anything. Our fans take care of it. Yeah. 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 You retweet and you go get it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. There's nothing. That, it, it's something we never even have to. Do. I almost like to leave it there to just see how many, and then they end up deleting their comments, yeah. and, like disappearing. Yeah. Them they right. Right. So who got better? Did your English get better, or did your Portuguese get better? Both. Definitely my English. Both. 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 Because when I met her, I talked to her. Google Translator. Oh, nice. Like, message. I like you. <laughs> and then I was like, I don't know what that means. I want to tease you. And I was like, no. <laughs> can, I, can I go watch a movie? Yeah, she's like, oh, I want to watch a movie at your house. And I'm like, oh, my God. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it started like with the, the phone, and then it was like, okay, and then I understood some Spanish. So then be, and then she just started speaking to me in Portuguese. Like, well, now I have no choice. I have to That's great. So, so now, you know, her English is fine. Everyone can understand her. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, she came uh, to America in a Brazilian gym where everyone spoke Portuguese. Right. So she never, like, learned English. Mm -hmm. So she was here for two, three years, but only right. around Portuguese-speaking people. Yeah. I mean, it certainly helps. I mean, I know a lot of people thought Jose should have learned English a long time ago. Anderson started to learn it eventually. I mean, how important do you think that is to growing your fan base and being able to speak English? Yeah, because you can communicate with everybody, you know? You can. Right now, I sit down and talk to you guys. I can sit down and then talk a little bit Spanish. -y. I can, you know, I speak Portuguese. And we can, like, uh, do uh, a lot of noise as possible, you know, mm -hmm. to promote the fights and everything. I think it, this is very important. And also, I live, I live in America, yeah. you know? I want to stay here forever, yeah. you know? And I want to get in better and better with my English. Mm -hmm. And I keep it learning and evolving mm -hmm. until I get that. Yeah, I want to get back to, you mentioned that before about um, leaving Brazil and training her. I know Claudia came to the States for her last camp, and, and she seemed, too, to really kind of struggle with leaving Brazil and not wanting Brazilians to feel like she was abandoning them. So that is something very real for you then, yeah? Uh, or maybe not as much for you. Yeah, it's not as much for me yeah. because I really, whatever, whatever I do with my career, I will keep doing, you know? And I like, I love living here. And everything, when I moved to uh, USA, was, everything is coming together, you know? I've been struggling in Brazil for so long to like get get something. When I come to USA, was like I keep it work on, but uh, things happen here. Mm -hmm. But she does get that as well. She does get yeah. some Brazilian people like, oh, she doesn't live here. She like they're bigger fans of the people that stay in the country right. and train in the country. Right. They, they don't know how it was for me. Yeah, they, they don't understand they that. They tell me like now because I'm the champion. They think you can. Go to my page and then say something. Yeah. Like, hey, go there and then see my how it was for me when I started. You know, things. And these, I think, people have to come down a little bit mm -hmm. when go to my page and then talk about.
they don't know anything about me. But how, how was it? Like, where, where, where were you from in Brazil? Where, where, where did you live and how did you grow up? There? I grew up in a small city, the name, the name is Pojuca. Mm -hmm. And I moved to Salvador. Mm -hmm. it's a, and then it's north. A, Bahia. Yeah, it's like the south. Bahia, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bigger, it's a bigger uh, city there. And I started training and then tried to like get some sponsors to keep going. And then friends helped me to go to copy and then do things. But uh, like I can't find any sponsor. Only like a couple monies, but I can travel like that. And then boys like horrible. living in the gym. Leave, there, I live yeah. in the gym the whole so. time. The whole time, and then never have somebody to look up to me. You know, I've been training, being like, get us. I, um, I train Jiu Jitsu the whole time, I compete in Jiu Jitsu. I, I get the world shot like twice, twice in Jiu Jitsu. And I've been so many times in competition, but nothing happened. Yeah. And then I decided to do something. And my, my choice is come here. Yeah. And I have like a couple of people here, my old, old coach. My judo coach at Soka Valley, she, he already lived here, he have a gym, mm -hmm. and then I'm ready to go. Yeah. I'm ready to do something with my career, if not, I'm going to stop, you know, and I decide to move to America. A lot, a lot of people in Brazil grow up. Like half hour. I'm just going to have them bring their feet outside of the door. Oh, okay. like, we'll no problem. Going. A lot of people in Brazil grow up really struggling for money. I've seen it during the Olympics and the World Cup. Was that your situation or like, what was your sort of family situation? Yeah, yeah my family don't have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And my mom is a, was a single mom, yeah. and to uh, grow up was very hard. Yeah. To work, I had my uh, two sisters to grow up with me, was hard. And she like did uh, everything she she can do to like raise us. But you know, like when you have a kid, you have to like you know do a, more things. Sure. But uh, nothing. That can help me to like keep it doing. Where was it like a favela where you grew up or a different neighborhood? Or? No, like a more town. Yeah. Like a small like would you like a small city here, like yeah, yeah, maybe sure. a couple thousand people, yeah. but dirt roads, it's very yeah. I've been to where her hometown yeah, okay. is, yeah, so I kinda yeah, sure. that's what I would compare it to here, like one of the small outskirts of like in Kansas City, I would say. Right. Like one of these like kind of small yeah. towns. Yeah, yeah. I've seen the videos on Instagram. Yeah, <laughs> like that. Yeah. You know, when you were uh, after you fought Misha, um, you know, obviously she's retired now after one more fight. Did you do you feel that you played a big part in that in her deciding to retire? Uh, sad, right? Yeah. Because yeah. Uh, I don't want to she retire at all, but uh, I think the nose is now. She I don't think she can take it mm -hmm. that much, and I think she made the right decision. Mm -hmm. And because it's hard when you you broke something and you can't recover very well mm -hmm. and you keep it like doing this with your body, go through this, I think I think she made the right decision. But uh, at the same time, I, I really want to see, uh, see she fight again. You know, she's a great athlete. But <clears throat> yeah, it's always, always sad yeah. for me to be a part of that, that moment for that career. I think Leslie Smith said that uh, you retired and you should take it. Yeah, yeah. I heard it from a few. Yeah. Right, because in the next fight they showed in between the corner, right, when she said, I don't want to be here anymore. Yeah. She said, I just don't even want to be here well, we anymore. We knew after the fight, like, how she was standing in the cage. Me and her, like, she's yeah. going to retire. Yeah. 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 Two yeah. minutes later. Yeah. You can see it in a fighter. You right. know in a fighter when, they, when they, they, they're they in it and when they're, they're not in it anymore. Yeah. She's yeah. had a long career. In the, on, honestly, yeah, I I really want to see that in my career. You know, I don't want to keep it doing, then keep it lost, and then keep doing it up and down, up and down. Yeah. I really want to be a champion as long as long as as, uh, as possible. But uh, when I want to be able to see, you know, when they retire, a yeah. champion, you know, let it just happen with me. So when it, anybody I speak to at ATT says um, that you're the hardest working person in the gym. And they don't mean the hardest working woman, they mean the hardest working person in the gym. Uh, obviously you guys train together and stuff, but do you put in some work with the guys as well? Who do you mainly train with down there? Yeah, we put in some, some work with the guys. And Nina is my my many, many training partner. We work very well together. Because you know, you know, everything can happen in yep. training. We have to be very careful. Right. And but we we train with the guys. Yeah. 
So like Masvidal and some of the guys? Uh, no, we bigger guys, like yeah. smaller guys. Yeah, I'm always more of guys, Lamar. Uh -huh. he's, uh, was my main trainer for Misha, was Lamar. He, he fight in small show. Mm -hmm. And yeah, for this fight too. And I also inspired with my coach coming. Yeah. Yeah. This is awesome, oh. you know, I never like, yeah, be able to train with a coach like sparring. Yeah. Punch the coach in the face. He punched me in the face. And then <laughs> after, you know, it's, it's very good. The America Top Team is really the best team. And you can inspire with your coach. You know, <laughs> this is awesome. Okay. And he was like one of my many training for uh, this camp at Ronda. He told me a lot. He like. Oh really? Yeah. 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 Well, I guess you have to get used to that. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Well, it's very hard to go like so you can't like be like I'm just gonna go soft and drill. Like even as a man, like you have to be ready because she will go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like to train hard. Yeah. This is the, the thing. And I don't like training with men because sometimes like ah oh, she's a girl. I don't want right, to hurt right. hurting me. You know, yeah. hurting yeah. me. Yeah. And I'm gonna be ready for. Right. Because I don't want to get get home and it like how oh, he was like very easy. Right. It's you know? harder to train with a guy that does, that has like a little bit like if I go too hard I'm an asshole. If I don't go, but you're not right. helping us. But you're not. If you if don't you're, try if hard you can't help us, right. then I'd rather you just not go. And Kami is yeah. that kind of coach. Yeah. You know? I like him. He like beat, <laughs> beat the shit out of me and <laughs> throw me because he's very good wrestler. Yeah. You know, he have the hip throws like amazing. Yeah. And I like I, this. Is the thing that we're gonna feel in the fight. Right, you know, right. like the right. hard moments in the fight, and you have to ready to be able to, you know, get up and then keep it moving forward. Mm -hmm. And I like training with him; he, he makes me feel very good. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if you guys uh, saw on the way here, but uh, Chris Cyborg has the positive for so. a banned substance. Any reaction to that? I don't know how well you know her, but is that unfortunate that they're, they're opening this new 145 pound division? You know, she's one of the key cogs at the division now. She might be out for who knows how long. Yeah. Yeah, now, who knows? It's gonna be a little hard for her. Mm -hmm. You know, where she can take some time and then rest, go see the fam her family, and then yeah. what is whatever she wanna do, she's gonna do it in her life. Could you fight at 145? Is that a possibility? I fight it before. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. I fight uh, Julia Butt in Strike yeah. Force right. 145. Mm -hmm. But no, I don't want to no. come back. Maybe I go down 125. Really? Like, if really? Open. Yeah. Because everybody, so all the rumors are saying that you weigh too much right now, and that this, that it's been hard for you to make weight. No, no, uh, <laughs> no. I didn't say it. I'm just saying. Yeah, I, no, I no, that's not a true statement. No. Yeah. My weight come out so easy. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I born it with this. Like, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. And I sweat, and then my weight is like just like. I she can't doesn't eat. die. Like if she. I She'll clean. eat clean, but her, her plates are like this big. Yeah. She's not like starving for food and she doesn't, yeah. she could drop 10 pounds. I can like, go eat a little bit like a chocolate, <laughs> uh, a little bit like candy, whatever I can, I want, I can do. Really? Yeah. yeah. And, and come out easy. Yeah. But uh, maybe if UFC open 125 here, I love to try, you know, go down first to see how I feel. And, Maybe run to that belt too, but uh, this is in the future. My focus now is, is, is my next fight. Yeah. I'm sure Nina wants the 125. I know, yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Please. Yeah. <laughs> if she, yeah. she's go yeah. up, okay. Because right. right. that I, happened, you were supposed to fight Rose that time, yeah. right? And it I didn't actually, happen. I got sick actually three weeks before that fight. I had a liver infection and bronchitis. And I was on a natural, like a, a natural kind of medicine. At yeah. the time, IVs were legal, so I did like an IV. And I felt okay. And then rested a little bit, but then when I came to cut the weight, I was, cut, I, was I think, 40 hours, I was about 15 pounds. Yeah. I she's gonna die. Yeah. I honestly, I have to stop really? because the, but I it came her. back. Once I right. started cutting the weight, everything, came, all my sickness came right. back and never yeah, left right. my body because I didn't take any antibiotics because it would have affected my training for right. the fight. And I, I cut more than I should have gone. <laughs> like, I really put my, I was in, I went in and out of conscious a couple times. Yeah. Amanda had to stop yeah. the weight cut because I wasn't gonna stop it. My I saw Nina's eye like, and she was like, "That's it. We have to You're stop. Done. You're done." You know, right. I was even done cutting weight, and then, but I would overnight I gained weight, which is weird because I didn't eat anything, I, and this has never happened to me before. And I'm like, my body is obviously struggling for something. Yeah. You know, and then I just got sick again. The right after weights, no appetite. Didn't couldn't eat anything. Couldn't drink. Couldn't keep anything down. The next morning, I didn't gain any weight, and the, the doctor was like, "You are sick, and you cannot fight it." That was that. Uh, 
But you know, I'm better now at making the weight. You know, I had a nutritionist and all that stuff, but it's still a big weight cut. You know, I would be, of course, way more stronger and powerful than 25. But. Well, and it's tricky too, because even, you know, with Chris trying to make certain weights, I mean, it is harder for women. We carry fat yeah. differently, it's harder to get yeah. rid of. I mean, the beauty and everything. Exactly. And when you think about in the future, you may want to have children. I mean, how much do you have to weigh that, that all together? That's right? what the issue is. It's not so much of the toughness of going to 15, because mentally I can go to 15 all the time. Yeah. It's my body can't really handle it as well anymore, you know, especially as I'm getting older, especially as I plan to have children yeah. in the near future. Like, I don't want to do that to my body. It doesn't make sense, you know, but when am I going to do it? There's no career outside of the UFC, to be honest with you, if you want to call it like a career. Yeah. It's called struggling if you're not a career. So I don't yeah. want to do that anymore. I don't need to. So I did, I took the 15 division yeah. until it opens up. Yeah. But now, you walk around like... You walk around a lot of small. Yeah. 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 A lot is small. I don't torture myself anymore. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot better. Win it. One day before the wings, we in the same weight class. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> That's great. Yeah, That's funny. Pretty much. <laughs> and we play with that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, when she, right. when when I was walking around heavy like 35, yeah. 36, yeah. like I'm like we are the same weight for like 10 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because she make a fun of me because I'm in Brazil, but I don't have a butt. Yeah. I don't, yeah. Have, yeah. Like, I don't yeah. have that beautiful body. Yeah. <laughs> It's Nina. You look like a ten-year-old boy on this scale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. well, uh, finish making the onions. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good to be a little yeah. contact table. I think we're good. Oh wow. Um, All right. Oh wow. Are you gonna be yeah. 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 But nothing like no fried chicken. You ate? Is that squash? Oh, okay. You can leave the fried chicken to me. It's fine. Yeah. yeah. You guys can leave the fried chicken. Okay. Right? Uh, so that whole overnight weight gain, I feel that with you. Yeah. <laughs> Some days you're literally like, where did, like, what happened? I didn't, and then didn't, I recut it. Right. I recut the weight from the hotel oh, to no. the scale. I gained another pound. Oh my god. This is making no sense. Something's yes. up. Yeah. That's, that's like the body, like in starvation mode, yeah. like trying and to it's find anything. Yeah. Things to yeah. Well, even yeah. the UFC doctor, I didn't tell him that I wasn't feeling good. But when they were doing like my vitals and stuff, he kept yeah. looking at me like, "You good? Are you? Are you? Are you okay?" Yeah. Right? And I'm like, "No, I'm fine." What is horrible? Never doing that again. Right. I haven't. It's you know, I'm glad really she was there to pull it because I would have kept going and I could have. Right. You could have really died. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For nothing. The more important is. Everything is your body, mm -hmm. you, your life. You guys get a question? Thank you. Thank you. Where you guys right? Huh? Where's Honey? Uh, Coconut Creek. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect.